Good afternoon, guys, and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. I've got my Aldi Caputo's and Valley Produce haul for you guys today. In total, we ended up spending like close to like 75 or so dollars um, between everything. My mom had to get some stuff at Aldi, so that was like $50. Everything else from Valley Produce and Caputo's was only about $25. Um, so I will share with you guys everything that we ended up getting. So we went to Valley Produce first. These items right here on this side of the table. We didn't end up getting a lot, but all the deli meat did end up costing a little bit. Um, so we got these uh, marinades, which are on sale for $1.66 or like $5 for three, um, which I actually thought was not that bad of a price because I don't think Aldi actually has marinades. And since it is close to grilling season, we normally do pork chops and marinade. Um, and so since these actually weren't that bad of a price, like I had to pay two something um, one time when I needed them because they weren't on sale anywhere and all they didn't have any and so like I said it actually wasn't that bad of price but like I said they were like 166 each and I think they were a limit of three so I went ahead and picked up three different kinds of those the broccoli was on sale for 99 cents per pound we ended up uh, spending uh, we got a little over a pound it was 111 and then as you guys can see on there we also got the American cheese which was um, 449 a pound and then the um, Sara Lee roast beef that was uh, $5.99 a pound and then over there on the oven roasted the average oven roasted uh, turkey was $2.99 a pound um, so that's what we ended up spending on those and like I said at um, that was $20 even actually and 35 cents tax over at uh, Caputo's we ended up spending um, just $13.11 after tax, which we got a ton of produce stuff. Um, the one expensive thing sort of were the Honeycrisp apples. We got eight of those. They're $1.49 a pound. We got a little over three and a half pounds. It was $5.41 for those. Everything else was actually pretty cheap. The um, Romaine Hearts were $1.50 for a three pack. Um, and then we also got, my mom needed parsley and I figured this would actually probably be cheaper than all these price. It was $0.59, cents, um, not on sale. The salon we got was on sale was 25 cents um, and then the tomatoes the plum tomatoes were 69 cents a pound we paid 55 cents for those um, and then the um, grapes the red grapes were on sale for 69 cents a pound we got about two pounds it was 142 um, we got a cantaloupe which was 99 cents and then also the organic um, celery hearts were 99 cents and then the two green bell peppers were 79 cents a pound and they totaled about a pound and a half so it was 118 for those then lastly we ended up going to Aldi um, and got all of these things like I said that total close to about $50 um, we ended up getting bananas they were two dollars even it was about like five plus pounds um, at 38 cents per pound um, we also ended up getting uh, my mom needed ground sirloin so this was a uh, Four nineteen a pound, and it was a little under two and a half pounds. So it was ten oh one for that. Um, we also ended up picking up the cottage cheese, which was one sixty nine. Um, the tortilla chips. I'm sorry, guys. I'm all over the table here. Uh, tortilla chips were one eighty five. The garden salad was a dollar sixty nine. Um, we got four avocados, which were fifty nine cents a piece. That was part of their produce picks. Um, and then chocolate milk, which was one twenty nine. Um, we also got the barbecue sauce which was uh 95 cents pineapple was a dollar and 49 cents we also um my mom asked for tomato puree i think or something like that they didn't have that all these so i didn't know if she meant actually like tomato paste or sauce or if it was crushed tomato um so i picked up one of each they were uh 49 cents or 46 cents for the paste and 30 cents for the tomato sauce if not we can always use it um for something else that wasn't what she ended up needing um and then we got a cucumber which was 69 cents the um chicken strips which were two dollars and fifty cents we also ended up getting um the Starbucks coffee um, that was four fifty three, dollars and we also got a couple of the little yogurts my mom had asked for which were $0.32 cents. and then also um, we did pick up a little thing of hand sanitizer because we're out of one for in the car which was the, actually on like clearance or sale for $1.79 and then also the um, everything bagels which were $1.49 the um, 
bread which was $1.99 and then the English muffins which were $1.15 and also too we got this little um it's like a guacamole keeper it was actually on sale for $6.99 and I heard really good things about this that actually works really well because it keeps like the air out of it which is what causes like guacamole to turn and change colors and stuff like that so it actually like I don't know, sort of, not suctions out, but, you know, like, keeps the oxygen out, um, which is what helps keep guacamole fresh longer, um, because, like, that, bananas, apples, like, those type of things, well, not bananas, I guess, maybe, no, more like apples and, um, like, guacamole, um, especially, like, when they're exposed to, like, the air, that's when they start to turn and change colors and all that kind of stuff, and they just don't taste as fresh either, um, so, yeah, that's why we ended up picking that up, um, and then also, too, I don't know where it is on the receipts, but we also ended up picking up one thing of the, um, American cheese singles, which were $1.69 as well, um, so yeah, I found down the receipt. That was what we ended up getting a little bit of a bigger haul from Aldi. Um, but in total, not all of too bad. Um, I still have to finish up my jewel list for tomorrow, um, which doesn't honestly look like there's going to be that much going on, but like, uh, what's it called? The ad was really short. There wasn't a whole ton of like sales and promotions and stuff like that going on. A couple things that I've sort of seen already and we'll probably go to Walgreens as well tomorrow um, and just go to those two stores and do more like couponing deals. But I am starving right now. I need to get myself something to eat. So yeah, thought I'd just share with you guys our little sort of more the produce haul sort of than anything else. But um, yeah, like I said, I gotta get this all put away and find myself something to eat. Well guys, it is later <laughs> now in the day. I'm gonna actually um, go get to bed, but I finished up my jewel list, which honestly I have several like little freebies and things like that from the, the Monopoly, um, especially from last week. I scanned all of those in today and a couple, not that many, but a few of the like 50 cent ones that sort of match up with some deals that are going on this week, but I have a lot of little freebies. So it's going to be like a lot of little things that I sort of need to grab at Jewel. Um, but there's not a whole ton of stuff like sales wise and couponing wise that's really going on at Jewel. Not a whole ton. I really only saw like maybe like two or three sort of deals that I was like oh that's really good and then again just some of the sort of already advertised stuff um and then at Walgreens I was actually sort of struggling to get up to $20 because $20 was what I needed to get my $5 um like Walgreens bonus cash sort of back um and so my net cost though should be looking at like about six bucks for everything which actually sounds pretty good because I'm going to get another um well one of those Gillette razors I got a little bit ago um a pack of toilet paper um two boxes of cereal and a uh, thing of uh dish soap and so all for like six something and change net cost so I was like that actually doesn't sound that bad um and then at Jewel actually net cost I'm looking at passively under 25 bucks um like excluding tax and everything but um because I will get some back from like eight dollars or so back actually for Ibotta because there are a couple of stackable deals that are sort of going on as well with Ibotta um, so yeah, and then like I said, there's some, a couple of like, I have a bunch of little freebie things, um, from like the Monopoly stuff, and then there's a couple of, you know, like the Just For You coupons that are going on with deals, either Monopoly ones or just ones regularly in the account, um, and then like I said, a handful of other stuff. So like I said, we will wind up seeing, but I think, like I said, sort of everything net cost should be about $25. 25 or so bucks um and on top of that too though i also had a seven dollar um like points like the rewards um that you earn you know your points like um for everything dollar spent you earn one point and when you get to a hundred points you get um like one reward and then you can redeem your rewards for like actual like prizes sort of I guess I don't know if you call them rewards at that point or like you earn rewards points to redeem rewards um and I actually had six and I think the most you can get is seven um and so a six dollar or six point or no five points I had six but I could only redeem I think five and then seven and so I redeemed five of them for seven dollars off of my grocery purchase so on top of that too I'm looking at like 30 something and um then like I said post you know rebates and all that to like 30, 25 or so um I actually think under that but again that's as long as everything goes 
fine and swimmingly and all that kind of stuff at Jewel. So, um, yeah, so far, knock on wood, guys. I, I've been pretty good. Everything's been working out at Jewel for the most part. I had that couple of weird little things that happened last week, but I sort of hope that's it um, and that everything works out fine because, like, I hadn't had that happen at all up until last week. Um, where like the coupons didn't end up coming off for just like randomly um even though they were in my account so like I don't know what happened to them um with that french bread and like I said that the ibuprofen I feel like it was because it was advertised as the wrong size the sparkling ice coupon as well so like I said I'll share all that with you guys in tomorrow's vlog but if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny pieces tomorrow so bye guys